Claire. What do you mean? What I mean is there are two men in here tonight and they say they are going to change the century. So let's give it to them and let's say they will. One, two. Where's the third? The father, the son, and the Holy Ghost. The three cases. Not to mention bad news always coming free. Need I need to mention more. So... Who's the third point in the triangle, so to speak? Maybe it's Matisse. No, 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 no. No. Matisse cannot be the third. If he wants, he can be the fourth or fifth. But he cannot be the third point in the triangle. I hate to tell you this, but the idea of a triangle with four points will not fly. <laughs> A uh, triangle with four points is what Euclid rides into hell. Then who's the third? You are lucky tonight. You will hear at the moment I hear it straight from the horse mouth. I will be changing the century. I repeat, I will be changing the century, entry, entry. <laughs> the other Barzlet, you may as well too. And what is your name? Schmendiman. Charles Zabino. Schmendiman. Uh, how will you change the century? Very simple, with my invention. <laughs> One, half a drink. On you? No. Just half a drink. <laughs> and remember my name, Schmendiman. <laughs> you see, there is a distinction between talent and genius. Talent is the ability to say things well, but genius is the ability to well say things. Talent sells millions in a year, but genius sells 5,000 for 200 years. Can't you compute that or I'm just moving too fast for you? You have to work to have talent, but genius can gift. Wrap in a blue box from Tiffany's. Einstein, Picasso, <laughs> Somehow it doesn't follow me. Which Way ugly. So you're saying you're bringing beautiful ideas into a beam? Exactly. We create a system and see if the facts can fit it. So you are just not describing the world as is it? No. We're creating a new way of looking at the world. So you're dreaming the impossible and put it into an effort. Exactly. Brother. Brother. Oh, come on. You two are spouting a lot of rubbish. We all know that the first reason you got into physics and art is to meet girls. What? You actually think I said to myself, Oh, how can I meet a lot of girls? I know. I'll develop a unified field theory. Look, I'm not saying you're not sincere. But let's face it. You've got some splashy party talk, and you've got the perfect and oldest pickup line. I'd like to draw you. That's outrageous. Maybe it's unconscious. But probably way back you realized you weren't the handsomest things around and decided to go a different route. I'm disgusted. <laughs> Countess! Albert! Did you go to the bar route? Of course not. That's where you said we'd meet. Of course you'd come here. How stupid of me. Now. What was it you were saying about it impossible to distinguish motion produced by an outside gravitational force? God, she's sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is these two guys here are really smart. And to be so smart, they need an incredible amount of brains. So one for the money, two for the show Better get ready now, go catch go Don't you step on my nose, they shoot When well, you can do what you think That is, stay out of my bed and stay shoot When well, you can knock me down, knock on my face Sign my name all over the place I don't think I just wanna do But I can go honey, lay out of my shoes Don't you step on my nose, they shoot you know what you think, but it's 
stay out of my face and space shoes. Let's go, cat. I drink my liquor from an old fruit jar We'll do anything that you wanna do But I, uh, honey, lay out of my shoes And don't you step on my blue suede shoes You can do anything But I stay out of my blue suede shoes For the show, better get ready now. Go, go, go! Don't you step on my blue suede shoes? Well, you can do anything, but it's the out of my blue suede shoes. Well, it's blue, blue, blue suede shoes, yeah. Blue, blue, blue suede shoes, yeah. Blue, blue, blue suede shoes, yeah. Blue, blue, blue suede shoes. Well, you can do anything, but lay out of my blue suede shoes. The latest. They are making them so small. <laughs> Where did you get it from? I bought it from a Japanese tourist. Okay, everyone, group together over here. Come on, move! In a row and a squeeze together. You, get in there too. Oh, don't worry, I'll be in it. Who are you, by the way? I guess you could say. I'm a messenger. Oh, fine. <laughs> On this day, in 1904, the Lapina Jail was a place of a historic photo. Did someone say historic photo? <laughs> Woof! Can you still see the other German? Sure, can. <laughs> <coughs> okay, everyone, and smile. Wait a minute, you are not smiling. Oh, oh, man. Man. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. How about this? We'll think of a word that makes our face go naturally into smile, and then we'll all say it at once. Yeah. What's the word? What's the word? I've got it! Matisse. 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 Matisse! Okay, everyone, say Matisse. One, two, three. Matisse. Hold it. Picasso, you are not smiling. Well, I'm not going to do it if you are going to say Matisse. Oh. <laughs> How about Rubens? Oh, please. How about Michelangelo Buonarroti? <laughs> we don't have the time to say Michelangelo Canelloni. <laughs> <laughs> El Greco. We can say El Greco. Can I say Greco? That makes your mouth go in an ocean. We all look like fish. <laughs> How about twice? No, not twice. Perky? <laughs> How about cheese? Cheese sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what? Say cheese. <laughs> One, two, three. Cheese. Oh. See the flash go up. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 